Welcome YouTube, this is Computer Crash Zero here with your second tutorial on scripting a batch file. Today I'm going to be talking to you about how to create a variable and how to display that variable in your batch file so you can see it. Alright, let's get started. We're going to open up Notepad and we're going to pound out our first line. We're going to go at echo off. Now remember, this is so that you only see the regular text or the plain text. We're going to go to our next line and go set slash p followed by our variable name. So we're just going to use name equals and we're going to have it ask us a question. So we're going to say what is your name? And we're going to go back and wrap this in quotation marks. The reason that we're going to be using quotation marks is because we have a space right here that we want to show up in the end results. Next, we are going to hit enter, obviously, and go echo per two parentheses signs. And you want to put your variable name within the parentheses. So we're going to go name. And lastly, we're going to go pause. This way you can see everything. Now let's go ahead and save our batch file. We're going to save it to the desktop as name.bat or bat. As you can see, I've already created one, but I'm going to go ahead and replace it. And now we're going to open up our batch file. And as you can see, it's saying, what is your name? Exciting, isn't it? I'm going to type in computer crash zero. And we're going to hit enter. Oh no, we broke something. It looks like we put an S at the end of echo in our script. So let's just go back in there and take that S off. Save the file, close out of the old one, reopen the new one, and we're going to go computer crash zero. And as you can see, it says computer crash zero right under the question. And that is how you create a batch file to request user input and display the user input. Now this is in its simplest form. You can make them a lot more complicated than that, but I wanted to keep it quick and simple. Now if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. I will do everything I can to get back to your questions as quickly as possible. And if you want to see a custom batch file doing some simpler things, let me know and now I can probably do a project build for you. Now I do try and plan on doing this on a weekly basis. So keep the ideas coming guys and I will keep the tutorials rolling. Until then, this is Computer Crash Zero signing out.